I'm assuming you can see and hear me. Hmm. Okay, to continue uh, making my wife's side-by-side -side better than mine, uh, we now are going to put a sound bar in there. Uh, I have a problem with uh, what I did is because I put snorkels up to the top bar where people usually put the sound bar so everything gets in the way. I wanted a sound bar, not just speakers. Um, so I got like a short one and then we'll see if I can get that shit put in somewhere that uh, will make her happy, have her pull her boobs out, stuff like that. You can see what's in the box. I kind of cut it. I haven't looked in here yet. But get out of here. The other thing I did is I bought like the cheapest one uh, I could get because these things run to like uh, 150 was the cheapest I found to about uh, a million dollars and uh, I bought the $150 one and then um, so we'll see what it sounds like. I have a sound bar in the Viking as well. It's a little bit bigger. That one cost $200. I found it on the Amazons but it's just too big. Uh, it's too wide for the, the cage in the Commander. So, I didn't go with it. So we found that one was kind of small. And another thing that this one has, it, it has adjustable, uh, well, you'll see when I pull it out, hopefully. But you could, you could it has multiple uh, mounting positions. Oh, God! I'm dropping everything. There we go. Mm. All right, we got a bunch of shit. Hold on, pull it all out. Else in the box. All right. So this is the bar. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. We'll see how it goes. In a second, let me get all the plastic off and all the other shit out so we can see what's going on. So we got the bar see it. It's got, it uh, looks like uh, two okay size speakers, maybe the, maybe like four inch speakers and it looks like two tweeter thingies, smaller ones. I don't know. I'm not a stereo guy, but it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. And it comes with all your, uh, your mounting stuff, is what I believe this is. Find out there's one. So I'm hoping that fits two inches or else I'm going to figure something out. Alright, what else does it come with? It comes with, it looks like, the book. Uh, adapter, I bet you this. So it goes right to the battery, but it says must be connected to a fuse. See how that shit goes, huh? The remote. I'll probably lose this first time we we go out because that's what stuff is. They're just more mounting pieces for uh, the actual sound bar itself. Rubber goes in there so it doesn't mess your bulk cage up. I'm not too worried about it. It's tired. I keep rolling it. All right. So that's everything that comes with a kit. It's like $150. Uh, it's Planet Planet Audio PSX 18. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Is uh, so this this rail right here. It makes it so these things can move all along this and mount wherever you put it. That's why I got it. Ugh. All right, so you can see what I've done. I found these. I oh, pulling the little rubber pieces out, but uh, I just got my bar there. I took all my wiring off for that, um, and I just I'm pretty much going to center it on that bar right there. So I put that shit in place, uh, and it fits just right up top. So instead of having it back in the back like the one in my Viking. It could just be right here. That way the person that's driving can easily just get up there and and then uh, do what they want with it. Uh, so that's what I've done so far. So once I get it up into the bar, we'll see what it looks like and go from there. 
All right, so we got it up. So there it is on the bar. You can kind of see how it's centered. Hold on, let me come over here. Bam! So there it is. So the driver should easily be able to just kind of put their little finger up, turn it on, do what they want with it, and be able to control it from there. Now I got to do all the wiring. So the wiring is not going to make it all the way to the battery. So I got some of this stuff so I can uh, got it. I got my my hot and ground I got deals to make connections I've got a place for my fuse 10 amp I got a place to hook up to the batteries this I've got a switch I can put in there and I got the dealers to hook up to the wire took it up to the switch so we should see how that shit goes because I need to run it so I gotta run the wires from here I'll probably come down this way go in here and then I'll probably go across the the dash there into there and then down and think what I did there goes through here and then over to the battery which is on the other side there all right Let's give you a little update on what I've done so we've got this in here with the wires so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these nonsense it's like USB and like a headphone jack but either way I've got all the wires up here then they come down I just got them all zip tied all nice and neat like down there and it'll come down here and then it just goes into my uh, my old air intake oh, there. there we go so it just goes there runs past this this is just an old rubber grommet I don't use it anymore because my air intake is now over there in the snorkel got some light up here and then it just runs through there to a switch a switch so I got my grounds going there then I've got the wires all right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it through here probably go down through the dash and then you can kind of see over here where I've ran I think this is the power for my light I'll meet up here go through there and then I'll probably connect to this and I believe this is my shifter cable so it's pretty stout and hard I'll just zip tie it I'll come down here and this is where you can connect the power and down there is a good spot for ground and then both the cables should be about the same same distance and length so we'll see how it goes but it's not looking too bad not looking too bad all right so we've got everything ran so it's all just up behind there I closed that thing back up so it's all just ran you can see the wires that are ran all the way down so BAM right there and then that goes to you see the junction box right there where it goes that's the ground this runs to the positive terminal there's my little fuse box dealer thingy I left a little bit of extra wire that I'm gonna kinda fold up uh, other than that I can put this bad thing back together we'll see if it works Wait, hold on we'll see if this thing works hold on Alright, I've got it hooked up to the switch, so if I turn the switch on, that should, oh, so that comes on, should turn on, should hook up to, phone, so it is connecting, positive mode, I'm dumb, should this thing supersonic? Who sings supersonic? Uh, Look at this. It's fancy. Um, you want to have a sip of our grandma grandpa sauce? There you go. No, you don't want to? Just no. I was going to make popcorn and make a watch video. Do you want to do that or have God is interested, is
then so I just did a trip around the backyard it's really dark well you guys can see but to just to test to see if my wiring was all done up and the wire did fine the only problem is is that uh, I had a hose clamp burst uh, right there uh, it went right in my face so I just had to fix that real fast and then uh, burp the radiator uh, because that shit got real hot and I wasn't the goodest, but the sound bar did fine. It did perfect. It's fried cha. It looks really good. It sounds decent. Um, fuck yeah, go team, I guess. <laughs>